Welcome to another video, welcome to the channel and this is going to be day three. We're here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Come and join us, grab your sun, your sun hat again, your sun cream, your sunnies and join us on the wonderful trip all around Las Vegas. Uh, first of all this morning we're going to get this uh, car cleaned a little bit, it's a little bit on the dusty side and then we're going to head to Red Rock Canyon. Come and join us, will you? Well, a bit of a, a team effort there, and uh, I think that was uh, pretty good. We've now got a really nice clean car to drive around and drive you guys around Las Vegas. We have arrived at beautiful Red Rock Overlook. I'm going to show you this spectacular view. Somebody's picked it up. And I'm sure you'll agree. Beautiful out here. Well, we've got some really good footage with the uh, Hover X1 drone there. A little bit of a breeze going on. But it's just so, so beautiful around here. I could spend all day just sitting at that table and enjoying the, uh, the scenery. And we've spent many, many times sitting at this table here, enjoying the fabulous view and having a drink. And looking over Red Rock Canyon. Slowing down to hold my hand Richer than a hundred grand You're worth every second I could spend Don't know what the future holds But we'll always have our songs And you'll always have a person to call home So we're using the Pocket 3 today. Beautiful areas for you guys sitting at home to enjoy today. So there's so much more to Las Vegas. You can come out and see 
all this stunning scenery. So in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the scenic drive and that's going to go all the way around the valley. Join us for that video and I'm sure you're going to love it. I think now time for just another chill out and take in this breathtaking scenery. We've just completed the 13 mile scenic loop line and Glenn will be doing uh, a separate video on that for you guys soon. We're now going to head to the uh, Vista Centre and see if we can see the desert tortoise. Come on with us. And check out these stars and stripes flying proudly this morning. Really love the visitor centre here at Red Rock Canyon. And you'll soon see why. And you wouldn't want to touch the cactus there, very, very prickly and spiky. We've got the shop to the left. Always love to have a look in there. Really busy in here today. But my most favourite part is the window over here. And they're actually doing some acrylic painting today. And I'm guessing what they're going to be doing is you could be able to sit here and then paint the wonderful rocks there. And throughout Red Rock Canyon you will see where the Native Americans have left the rock art throughout Red Rock Canyon and these are just examples of what you will see. But that just blows me away every time I come to Red Rock Canyon. Absolutely love it. I've got here a golden eagle. Length is 27.6 inches wingspan. 72.8 inches in weight, uh, 105 ounces, 3,000 grams, and it's fast and manoeuvrable. And then we've got here a great horned owl. Powerful predator can take down birds and mammals larger than itself. And here we've got a bald eagle, and these are just awesome. Bald eagles can live up to 28 years in the wild, 36 years in uh, captivity. And the length is 28 inches, wingspan 204 centimeters, and the speed 75 to 99 miles per hour. We're now in the outside museum area and love Absolutely love walking through here and just looking at the, the desert shrubbery and it's a wow. There's so much to look at here, so telling you there about the desert washes. And you could spend a long time just reading all the information, so here 40 major water sources in Red Rock Canyon provide habitat for tiny spring snails. And it's such a beautiful day. Lovely temperature, barely any wind, and everywhere lots of information that you can just read. All about the local area. And this is a, a lovely information area. So we've got Diamond Hill out towards this way, Red Rock Overlook, which is where we were before. Pine Creek Canyon. That's got a three mile trail that you can head to there. Red, Red Rock Wash and Overlook. So you can see all the desert floor carved by Flash floods racing through this area. 
Icebox Canyon has got a 2.6 mile trail right over there. And I do find this interesting, Spring Mountain, or the Spring Mountains that you can see there. So Mount Wilson, 7,000 feet. Rainbow Mountain, 6,801. Bridge Mountain, 6,995. And we've got Willow Springs, Lost Creek Canyon, High Point Overlook, Turtlehead Peak, and the Calico Hills, all the rock formations there. And the elevation actually over the sandstone is 6,323 feet. Calico 2 Basin, Calico 1 Basin. I'll just show you again there where we've just walked around. And this is home to the desert tortoise, but I guess the in the burrows at this time, no? And again, more information on the desert air, the drying winds, and how the desert air cools, dries and lifts all those who fly. And this is the Desert Extremes area. Through hot and cold, people have flourished here for 10,000 years. I still can't see any of the desert tortoise. They're all gonna be in the burrows. So it looks as though we, we can see one. So. So there is one um, desert tortoise here, just in the corner there in the shade. I really like this part. So in Red Rock Canyon, 500 million years ago, sharp layers of cliffs tell you the geological changes, oceans, rivers, desert sands, and shifting slabs of rock have shaped and reshaped Southern Nevada and it's the Keystone Thrust. It says there, can you find the fault? So the fault is pushing all the rocks and mountains up there. And you can learn here all about the tortoises and the predators. And we're now in the shop here at the Red Rock uh, Vista Centre. There's so much to look at and possibly buy. Lots of hats. Some great t-shirts. And if you like pottery, beautiful pottery. Well, I've really enjoyed walking through Red Rock Visitor Centre, and I hope you guys have too. Thanks for coming along. And now we're gonna move on to the rest of the day. Gonna head back to Lake Mead, and of course our favourite table, going to have a picnic there, have a quick look at uh, Hoover Dam, the Overlook, and then we've got more of Vegas and all the hotels coming later today.
can't believe it, this is the third picnic. We've got some cakes today, we've got some uh, Twinkies, good old American Twinkies, plenty of sugar in them. Got some bananas, and we've got a chew bar. Plenty of cakes. We're gonna have, of course, the soup. Crisps. Lots and lots of turkey. And we're gonna have it in a wrap. And of course, a cup of coffee. And the chicka fillet barbecue sauce. Kick them over in case or, or spiders or anything there. Uh, this looks quite a, a decent one. We'll put one more bread, I reckon, there. And I think that's good for today. I tell you what, I am melting. Yeah, it's absolutely uh, Ooh, the scorching, I think. Leather seats are that hot in the van, and we're, we're showing it 99 Fahrenheit now. Wow, really enjoyed dinner. So let's take you now to Hoover Dam, and we're just going to look at the lookouts, the main walk we're going to be doing tomorrow. Let's go and check out this magnificent spot here in the desert southwest and just as we leave the table just look at the scenery down there it looks as though you're gonna fall right off the road and into Lake Mead one thing that we're trying to do is just keep as hydrated as we can uh, I've had quite a few bottles of water already you can have a can of uh, Diet Coke and it's been chilled in the fridge this morning, so beautiful. During the journey to uh, Hoover Dam, we're going to tell you a little bit of interesting facts about Las Vegas. So the name Vegas actually means meadows. If you didn't know, 
now you know. FedEx, we've all heard about FedEx. FedEx actually is all originating from Las Vegas. The owner was uh, about to go bankrupt and he won some big money here in Las Vegas and that saved FedEx. I also believe there's uh, more shrimp eaten in Vegas than anywhere else in the United States. And there's a few interesting facts on Vegas. See you at Hoover Dam. We're heading down to the Hoover Dam through a Black Canyon. And it's simply stunning. Getting to Hoover Dam, you do need to clear security. And then currently, they have got booths are ready almost to uh, charge you every time you go in. But at the moment, 2024, it's free. All right, we're just going to pass through uh, security. Right. No. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Security is clear. Just asked us about guns and drones. So I'm guessing at some point they've got this very nice pay area all ready to go. At the moment we can keep enjoying. Hoover Dam as many times as we like. Next stop then is Hoover Dam. So a little bit of information about Hoover Dam. It's as tall as a 60 storey building and it was the highest dam in the world when it was completed in 1935. Its base is as thick as two football fields. That's amazing. And each spillway is designed to let floodwaters pass without harming the dam itself and it can handle the volume of water that flows over Niagara Falls. And this is the 93-95 overpass. Before that was built you would have had to drive over Hoover Dam with all the big trucks and I do remember that quite well. And the bridge is spectacular. And while we're passing over the dam, it's actually quite cool compared to normal. 97 Fahrenheit. And there we go guys, the mighty Hoover Dam. Quite a few people walking today on this beautiful, cloudless, sunny day. Welcome to Arizona, everyone. And right beyond me there is the Hoover Dam. And it's a fabulous view. All the way here, you can see the four intake uh, towers there, and how low the lake is. Very friendly people in America, and especially uh, around the Hoover Dam. For the telling and yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. I don't know if he's Zoltar, but uh, he don't well, say an awful lot. Been here since. So how long have you been sitting out here in the sun? You don't say much either. Right, we are back on the road again. And we are almost back in Las Vegas. Gonna go back to the hotel, have a quick wash, quick drink, get all the gear ready for tonight. And we are ready to show you more of the beautiful hotels. See you soon. 
arrived at Treasure Island, free parking as per usual and a uh, bit of advice in Vegas make sure you note down exactly where you parked trust me you're having so much fun you'll forget and then struggle to find your car and just heading through the casino of Treasure Island back on Las Vegas Boulevard a lot of hotter today it is a hundred and two back to uh, what we normally see in Vegas right it is like a bread oven out here it's hot Glenn's just gonna have a sneaky look over into the uh, Mirage with his extended pole on the GoPro if you're interested in this video you'll be learning it out fairly soon nice view of the uh, Venetian there and one thing the Mirage has created is a nice little uh, walkway here in the shade Whew. and look at Nosy over there checking out what's going on at the Mirage I'm just looking back at the uh, Mirage sign thank you to the Mirage team members and Las Vegas community 34 memorable years yeah he's definitely having a real good nose over the uh, Mirage wall for you guys so that's gonna be a pretty good video I reckon are you guys ready for the forum shops come on let's have a look Ooh, complete heaven how nice is that air conditioning Bloody well. ready for a cool out and uh, nice drink now and there we go Caesar's Palace and just like that we are back in the forum shops let's check out what is going on tonight on this Tuesday night a local uh, gadget store there pretty much like the man cave I guess and how nice is this to be uh, walking through the forum shops and we're bringing this to you guys sitting at home any of you guys watching at home have you been to Vegas drop me some comments let me know what you think of Vegas we absolutely love it even though it's getting a lot more expensive a little bit difficult to do things but it's uh, always good to be back here in wonderful Vegas I do like the look of the Gucci shop and Louis Vuitton right next door look at the window display very very colourful and we are ready for a Mackey D's $1.59 ice cream cone should be good and here we go you can't beat a Mackey's ice cream can you oh awesome you can guess where we are back in the Venetian and the beautiful air conditioning and let's check it out again Tuesday night here in Vegas come on with us always like this part as we walk in great ambience but what we're gonna get here at the Venetian with all the gondolas and the canals love it all right let's have a look at the uh, Grand Canal shops and see if there's a few more gondolas on tonight a lot of people having uh, a massage there taking away all the stresses of daily life 
And can you believe it? I've been in the United States for three nights and I've still not been in a sketchy store. I think we'll wait until LA. The whole place there is minus five degrees ice experience. You can go there and have a drink, get your coats on, do something different. And again, been lucky enough to be in St. Mark's Square in Venice years and years ago. But it's recreated here in Las Vegas. And welcome to the beautiful Palazzo. And the only thing to do here, after all the walking we've done today, is a chill out and enjoy. Do a bit of people watching as well. And we're going to head from the Palazzo back up into the Venetian. And there's a few more gondoliers tonight. I've still got the memories of uh, when me, Mum and Glenn went on the, uh, the gondola. Again, a good 20 odd years again. And how colourful is the Sloan's ice cream? Great for shop. Now let's have a look at the window. Toffee apples, M&M apples, all look really good. bringing something to you guys completely new and new to us. Welcome to Fountain Blue, Las Vegas. That's beautiful, beautiful place. Looking forward to actually uh, coming here. And this is the uh, main entrance to Fountain Blue. So this is the check-in area there. Now this is one of the tallest buildings here in Las Vegas. It's been empty for years and years. And great news, it is now open and looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful, real flowers. So far, really, really impressed. Absolutely loving it. I have to do something with the music, unfortunately, again. For hours on that for you. Right in front of us is the main casino there. Very, very bright and new and yeah, quite like it here. Eh? The bar is absolutely gorgeous, look at that. And the chandeliers above it. And there's plenty of booze up there. I'm gonna head out onto the uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. And we've got a few uh, displays we need to check out. Let's have a look at the, uh, the artwork that we've got right here. It's called Oceans. It's a sculpture that embodies the world's oceans and landscapes of Las Vegas. So what do you think so far, guys? Fountain Blue, Las Vegas. Definitely. It's a good place to come. Parking, by the way, four hours free. Big thumbs up to the Fountain Blue. And we are directly across from uh, Circus Circus. Good display there of the car standing there 
on its bonnet. We'll walk around that so get a few different views for you. You can tell everything is just super new. Should be able to get a better view of the building as well. Look at the height of the building there. I like the garden area with uh, all the cacti. And there we go, something new on the Las Vegas Strip today. Also loving the palms and that blue, blue sky. Coming up to 5.46 p.m. Where's this day gone? We're having so much fun. I hope you guys are watching, are having fun too. And loving the videos that we're bringing you from here in Vegas. And this is the main entrance to Fountain Blue. And we're gonna get a little bit dizzy as we look all the way up there. Wow. And Fountain Blue, if you're watching, make an observation deck at the top of there, looking back at the South Strip would be awesome. He'd make a lot of cash as well. And we are back at America's favorite diner, Denny's. Come on in. For me tonight, it's going to be country fried steak. That's quite frightening, 55 plus meals. I'm getting close to that, 53. You could actually have one, couldn't you? Yeah. And that looks really good tonight. Well, we're really full after tea. We've now moved on to Fremont Street. Experience should be good. Currently at the top of the Golden Nugget. And the car parking now, 25 bucks. 24 hours. Welcome to the Fremont Street Experience. I don't know how we're gonna do the editing here. There is a lot, a lot of music. And it's a whole different place. Pretty crazy place. Here in Vegas. Wow. They're absolutely huge. I mean, we've seen loads of cyber trucks now, haven't we? Well, that one. I think I don't know. I think I'd have one. It's 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 growing on me now. They are huge though, aren't they? Win me, so you can win a cyber truck. A whole lot of editing, aren't we, to, to do this? This is your dancing DJ. It is a fabulous experience though, isn't it? We've got the bar over here.
the Plaza Hotel. Been there some time. And up here is actually Circa. And then the Three Mon Street experience. And uh, we've got to look in the ABC store, I guess, while we're here. It's got to be uh, worth doing. I think he's enjoyed himself in Las Vegas tonight. Yes. And it's a lot more noisier than uh, last year, isn't it? It is just uh, unbelievable down here, isn't it? And we've got a lot of people here as well. Coming up to 718, so the lights are all coming off. We can, I think. Probably will do any time, the uh, zip line. I don't know if you can hear me on this video, but it is absolutely nuts here in Las Vegas. This place is absolutely mental. Well, as you say, there's nobody on uh, Slot Zillion. No. Tonight. So just weighed myself down. 53 at Heart Attack Grill. And right in front of us is Fremont East, another whole new entertainment center of Vegas. Right, so are we ready to go back to that craziness up at Fremont Street? Yeah, let's uh, let's get back up there and and uh, oh, yeah. hard work with the ad scene, but let's give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the craziness from where we're standing now. It's uh, absolutely nuts, this place. Eh? <laughs> they are, so I'm holding my mic uh, a little bit closer, so uh, hopefully you can hear me once we've voice isolated this. But I hope all you guys are enjoying this uh, stunning video tonight from the Fremont City to Experience. Uh, the Viva Vision light shows are from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. This is just amazing. And again, I can't believe we used to drive up here. Two lanes of traffic, was there up here? Or maybe three, I don't know. So let me know in the comments what's your favourite. Is, is it downtown Las Vegas or obviously the Strip? Yeah, I really like the colours now. Got the old uh, Binion's Casino and the Golden Nuggets. Looking spectacular tonight.
and check out the limo there for Circa. Look at the aircraft coming flying down uh, Fremont Street there. And this one's doing uh, all different circles and how wonderful is that? We've got a green, here we go. Wow, this place is crazy. Hope you're all enjoying it because I can't hear a word I'm saying. And we are approaching the end of the Fremont Street experience. Again, if you can hear me, once I've done this editing, I hope you've all enjoyed this amazing experience. If you come to Vegas, make sure you come to the Fremont Street experience. It is nuts. There we go, it is a wrap. On to the next place. Right, we're going to end day three. Back at the win. Uh, it's now coming up to 10 past eight. So the day has absolutely flown. Encore, let's hit the win. Right, checking out the win. Tuesday night, August 2024. Here we go. Love the casino floor area of the uh, win. Quite a few people uh, starting to dine for their evening meal. Great people watching plates when you come here. The colours of the slot machines are just stunning. And I love the carpet. One of my favourites. Hope you're enjoying the uh, videos on day three as it comes to an end. We've had so much fun in Vegas today. Let's check out the Esplanade shop. Okay, we're going to end day three. We've had a wonderful day and seen lots of uh, different sights. Hopefully you're going to join us for day four tomorrow. We're still in Las Vegas, uh, but we're going to head on a rafting journey down the Colorado River. Come and join us for that if you think that's fun. Well, it's good night from America. We will see you on the next adventure, day four. Thanks for watching. <laughs>